What's up, cool people? I'm Matt Conroy. Welcome back to Darksiders 2. Picking up pretty much where we left off, except... Oh, hey, yeah, so... I got this thing. And... Basically, I can access something called the Crucible, which... Is more of a post-game kind of thing, to my understanding. So, definitely not gonna be doing that. Anytime soon. Um, oh yeah, also... Maxed out this thing. Which is freaking awesome. Cause, uh... Essentially, as you upgrade it, you get to pick... Certain... Uh... Aspects, bonuses, stats for it. Yeah, I cleared out a lot of other things in my inventory in the process of upgrading that. Also bought a couple of other upgraded, or just better pieces of equipment. Uh, so, here's the thing. I don't want to go right to the Tree of Life just yet, I don't think. Although I might be able to come back at some point, I don't know for sure. Um, oh yeah. I got that quest from, from Yuria. And... Okay. Oh, so there was a quest attached to that. But I think the one I want to go for right now is... The Hammer's Forge, which means I need to go that way. I could, who is here? What? Oh, Blackroot. Hmm. Would possibly be quicker to fast travel to him and then go backwards, but also loading time. So, eh, maybe not. But yeah, that was really about all I did in between episodes. Um, not much going on, personally, to talk about. I mean... This is pretty shortly after the previous recording session, so... Not really a whole lot to say. Easter Sunday is going to be an interesting day, because I'm helping with, you know, technical production stuff. And there's an extra service, which means I'm going to be there even longer than normal. Yeah, so those, uh, Possessed Claws or whatever are my secondary weapon, I guess is technically what it's called. But yeah, oh man, they're so beefed out. <laughs> Of course, these enemies aren't exactly all that strong either. So, I think I need to go up through here to get to that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Anything noteworthy in the water? Water goes back a bit further than I expected, but... Seemingly nothing... Noteworthy. No, like... Vulgrim token things, whatever those are actually called. Oh, hold up! is one. And... As I... 
recall, or at least as I vaguely recall reading when I was trying to figure out what the heck happened with Karn and the one stone thing for the Guardian, uh, it was, the word boat is somewhere in the actual name of those. Like, Boatman coins or boatman tokens or I don't know. But like at least to this point, there's literally no use for them aside from you know getting stuff from Volgrim. So like, eh. I don't think it's gonna be that easy to just get up into that central platform there. Um, Do I want to see what's in the water first? Yeah. Especially because there's another one of these, and now I already have enough of those to get a top-tier thing from Volgrim. Although, to be honest... There's probably going to come a point where that won't even really be a significant priority of mine, because... I mean, while the items of that rarity are good, I, I, I get the feeling eventually the possessed equipment is going to be the highest tier. Like, across as many different pieces of equipment to which they apply. Um, oh, there's a way to go down lower there. But first, let me look around the water here a bit. I'm not seeing any collectibles. So I'm thinking there really isn't much to do in here. Aside from go down this way. And I was halfway tempted to make a Jacksepticeye reference there for some reason. <laughs> I was about ready to call that the the deep down dark deep down. <laughs> there is a treasure chest and somehow I nearly just straight up missed it. Yay for the mini map. Oh, dungeon map. Okay. Helpful. Not completely necessary, but helpful. probably will be necessary if I ever want to get like 100% in this game. Holy cow. Oh yeah, um, other pieces of equipment that I added I added another one that gave me an experience boost. So it's now at a total of plus 15%. Um, would there be any point to going into this? Oh, that's an extension of the same water. Never mind. <laughs> um, the, one of the, the one experience boosting item I already had, I just got better other stats on that same kind of thing. Now what is this? Why is there so much water everywhere? Okay, so that's a thing. But is it a thing I'm really supposed to be doing? Uh, 
At the moment, I see no purpose in this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over this way. Oh, wait, this is that... what? I am confusion. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, it seems like there's somewhere I could crawl. There's something up there. I just don't know what it is and how to get to it. Or am I just supposed to actually be traversing using other methods? And that's sort of the, like, hey, if you happen to mess up, here's how you get back. Yeah! That, that's it. Maybe. Yeah. Now I gotta do the whole, like... Infinite climb kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, and they didn't make this area to where you would have to use the, uh, death grip or whatever the heck it's called, because there's no guarantee that you would have that by the time this quest is accessible. be necessary, but it's helpful. Kaboom. Ha ha ha. I don't know if that's even how I was technically supposed to do that, but I did it like that anyway. No, I was supposed to just climb up there. Oh well. See, some things become easier if you wait until later in the game to do them. Okay, there is a lever. What happens if I pull the lever? Aha! Okay. So, I think that means I'm supposed to do something like this. And then I can use this bomb here... ...to explode some corruption. Yeah! Oh. Oh, hello. Holy cow! Well, so there's some piece of equipment or another I have equipped that is supposed to give me increased execution chance. So if you were starting to think, hmm, I'm seeing B show up a lot more over the enemy's heads, that's why. Okay. 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 
Still not finding a fifth health potion since my battle with the Guardian. Okay, bye. I mean, at this rate, it definitely does not seem like I will need another health potion for a while. Okay. And that's it for that. Um, so I came in through there. Right. It's time you find something. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this one does not... Like, that one did not really give you a failure option. <clears throat> okay. I see a room with a skelly key. But where do I get the skelly key? Yeah, it can't do much up here at the moment. Well, hang on. Okay. That lets me go over here, but there's a gate here, so I can't really do much here. Hmm. Uh, okay. Unintentional dive. But I mean, sure, whatever. Anything in the water here that I should be aware of? Ah, wait. This isn't the same one as before, is it? That's looking like a no. Alrighty, so, I take the bomb, I throw it at the corruption, corruption explodes. And then, wasn't there another spot that had some corruption? Oh well. Yeah, that, that spot had corruption. Um, so how am I supposed to get over to that? Okay. Once I get on, once I get to that spot, I drop down, wall run, okay. Now I gotta do this all over again. Yay. But... I don't have any other way of getting to the bomb to explode this anyway. Okay. Up here. Move across. Drop down. Go here. Drop down. Over this way. Wall run. And then... Up here. And... Still gotta go through a door and do other things to get to that chest, but... Oh well. Chest here... Uh, anything down in the water? Probably not. But for some reason, I always feel like I gotta check. Ooh. 
No. Okay. Oh, fun. Whoa, hello. Maybe it's just that these dudes are doing so little damage that it, like, barely even registers. Ow. But only kinda. You, on the other hand, might actually give me some big owls. Oh, gonna come on. Fine. Do that way. Oh, fooey. Be gone. Honestly, doing the execution there probably just made it take longer. Ooh, hello, Book of the Dead page. Puts me at nine out of 10 for the first chapter. Okay, and I open the chest, and it has skeleton key. Yay. Am I supposed to push this in? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Hang on. Wasn't there another way that I was able to go around and get to that? But I kind of forget what it was. <laughs> okay, but like seriously, how am I supposed to get rid of that corruption? Do I use a bomb on that too? Seems like that'd be awfully difficult to pull off. I mean, if the bomb was inert, I wouldn't think it'd be much of an issue, but... Eh. Oh well. I don't need to get every key in the game just yet. And did I? I just realized, did I say key there or chest? I don't know. Splinter bone. In the hands of a skilled blacksmith, this hammer grants the ability to forge powerful weapons and armor. Turn this item to Valus in Tristone. Okay. So there's that side quest done. So. Oh, but that really seems to be the only treasure chest I haven't gotten yet. Would be a shame if I wasn't able to get it while I'm here. So, I'm trying to think of. 
how I was able to get there in the first place, really. And there being where that bomb was that I could throw at the corruption and do stuff like that. Um... It was definitely not here. Or did I just get to that in... I think I was just in the water when I did that, right? I went down and there was like a cave... Yeah! Right! So, how would I do this? No, I seriously thought it was gonna grab the bomb there. Dag nabbit. Okay, gotta go back and redo the whole spelunking thing. This isn't even spelunking. Spelunking usually is done when you're not swimming in water. I mean, maybe for teeny tiny portions of it. Okay, I grabbed that and hiya. Or do these bombs actually just, like, wait for you? Because I have yet to encounter the situation in this game of having one of those things just blow up in my face. So, maybe I'm being all paranoid about it for nothing. Anyway, I got the chest. Yay. Sure, gives me a wrath potion when I don't need one. What I need is the flipping health potion. I mean, need is a strong word, but you get my point. I have no space. For a wrath potion. I do, however, have space for a health potion, is what I really meant to say. Um, so now, how do I get out of here? Just. Wait, that away? I accidentally turned to the side there. I think this away. Okay, so. I think I am actually... You know what? I don't even need to walk out of here. Duh. Go to the world map. And go... Here. Fast travel. Yes. That'll be a much quicker way to get to Valis and Alia. So, it's getting a little bit late. I think this is actually all I'm going to be able to record for today. This is not going to be some massive session. I believe hey. you were looking for something. Oh, splinter bone. You found it. I, just, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to your work, Ballas. 
Should you come this way again, you may find items of even greater power. Okay. The hammer's forge complete. Um trying to think about what I really want to do in the next episode. Still not totally sure I want to go to the Tree of Life just yet. I really kind of want to do most of at least the significant side quests here that have the, you know, markers next to them. But I don't want to, like, put off the main story for too long, so... Uh, I might just do one of these other two, and I don't know. Or I could just get on with the story in the next episode. I don't know. I'll determine that when the time comes. But for now, that's going to do it. So, um, yeah. As always, like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with others if you want them to see. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get updates when I post new videos. Or you can just subscribe. You don't need to click the bell. Really... The best way to make sure that you're seeing the videos, no matter what time they come out and your availability to see them, is to just go to your subscriptions when you're on YouTube. Really underrated way of watching videos, I gotta say. But anyway, subscribe, please. At least do that. <laughs> um, otherwise, for other social media pages, just look down in the description for that info. And, of course, leave comments down below all that with any thoughts that you have. So, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully, I'll see you for the next video. But until then, stay cool, people.